What is up, bros? We Josh here, and welcome to our mini series for captain builds in World of Warships. As you all know, in 8.0, the captain skills were changed due to the CV rework, and that did affect normal captain builds throughout the entirety of the game. In 8.0, you were able to get free captain respects, so I thought I'd make a quick little video over each nation and each class when it has to do with captain builds. Hope this video helps you out and gives you an idea of what to build your captain around now that you have the free captain respects. Throughout all of these videos, I will not be including the legendary modules because so few people actually have them. These are going to be basic builds that will work for most players. Obviously, some of the uh, legendary modules will change up the playstyle a little bit, but these are just basic builds for the majority of players that they can build off and then ch tweak them a tad over time towards their playstyle. So I will mention some of the legendary modules. However, I will not make builds around the actual legendary modules. In this video, which will actually be the shortest one of this entire series, is about the Pan-Asian Navy. Now, this one will be the shortest because there's only one line currently, so these are my recommended builds for the Pan-Asian Destroyer line, which is currently the only one in this game for the Pan-Asian Navy. Last but not least, we have the Pan-Asian Destroyer line, and these actually got some premium captains. They were only available for a limited time, and uh, as you can see, they are the brothers over here. These are not available currently in the armory. They may be added at some point, but these are just part of the Lunar New Year. So as you can see, they are not available at the time of recording this video. They may be added into the future. One thing they do have, though, is something that's pretty nice for the, the Pan-Asian Destroyers, and that is a buffed survivability expert they also have a buff demo expert um i don't think it, you would be able to use that as much on the dd line but survivability expert is fantastic however this line has seen um it get picked on a little bit over time and that's one of the reasons you'll see that in this build now the pan asian dd line was known for having a very quick style of smoke if we can go there very very uh briefly um one thing you'll see is the the ability to lay a lot of smokes and last them they only last for a little while these were kind of outshattered by the royal navy smokes which are basically just a better version a much briefer smoke but more of them pan asian dd lines are kind of this weird in between of the usn and uh now the royal navy however the basic of this build is going to be just like any normal destroyer However, you see I have three points that I have not spent. Um, so priority target, last stand, survivability expert, which is why that buffed captain is kind of nice if you have it. You definitely will get a little bit of life per each tier. And then, of course, concealment expert and radio location. Very, very, very basic for everything I have shown for any kind of destroyer line throughout this game. This is just a good build overall at 17 points. Again, I have adrenaline rush picked. Just a good, solid build. However... For the last three points, it's going to be up to you. So as you saw with everything else, basically, I took Superintendent. However, this doesn't really get much value for the Pan-Asian line. You don't really need a six smoke. You don't really need an extra speed boost. So the value of this on Pan-Asian DD lines is not really that high, which is kind of nice because it gives you some freedom. However, you kind of need this to buff up the line to the level of other lines. Now, you could easily pick up Demo Expert with the buffed captain and switch him over here and then get that extra percent to fire. Sure, that's all right. Things I'm looking at, though, is stuff like basic firing training or even torpedo armament expertise, especially at the Yu Yang. The torpedo reload is so slow um, and the guns are relatively slow that you really kind of need some kind of love between these. I think what I would end up doing for this line, though, is probably taking basic firing training and then start using that and start farming a lot of damage. In the end, you'll probably end up getting more damage out of BFT than you will out of Demo Expert. 1% compared to a 10% on your reload is, in my opinion, just... It's just way more worth it. Um, so although torpedo armament expertise as we go out, the reload on now the Yu Yang is so depressingly long of 156 seconds. So about two and a half plus minutes. And we even are running the, we could even drop this and get them down a little bit, but still it's depressingly long. So we kind of buffed our guns as much as we could to kind of get them back to where they were. However, on the rest of this line, this build will work just fine. I just don't quite see the value of superintendent for the Pan Asian DD lines because you already have so many smokes and you really only are going to get an extra speed boost and your smokes, it's going to be hard for you to use up all of them. So the bonus one isn't too much. So kind of a normal build here, but just a tad different, not needing superintendent.
Well, that's it for the Pan-Asian Navy and my recommended captain builds. In the end, it's 100% up to you on your playstyle and whether you choose my builds or not. But hopefully this was enlightening to you to show what the ups and downs of the captain skills that affect the Pan-Asian Navy and the Pan-Asian DDs. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.